Say Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O Shai, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O Shai, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O Shai. First and foremost, you want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone. And a blessed salutation to the Akyams and the folk on the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom. Come down lesson 35 the church, Yahweh Shai, the 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children. Confusion of faith, Israelites are scattered among these heathen nations. You so called Negroes, you so called Latinos, you so called Native American Indian, you are God's chosen people. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yahweh means he is, he exists, he's the, he's, the ex, he's the only existing power. Right? His son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the one who the God Jesus. Yahweh Shai means he's saved or he's salvation. Right? Salvation is only for you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. Repent, turn back to your heritage, turn back to your true power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? It's a quick lesson of Genesis 2 and 7. Because a lot, of people a lot of people think this is when Adam was created, but it's not correct according to the scriptures. Right? Um, Genesis 1 and 20, which, is, which, which, is, which was the beginning of the fifth day, you know, the, 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 the man and woman were created. That's why it said, you, let, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature. And the word creature go back to a created thing. If you read Colossians chapter 1 verse 15, it says, he's the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature. So this who we're speaking about. We're speaking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the one in God, Jesus. He's the firstborn of every creature. So the word creature go back to a created thing. Something that created which is a man, a man is a moving creature. So Genesis 1 and 20 is where man and woman were created. So Genesis 2 and 7, talking about something totally different, right? So we can go into it. This is Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. He said, And the Lord Yahweh power for man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Right, so when the seed is say, see this when man, this when man was created. No, when the most I did, the most I take Adam from a confused state, from the low state, and blow the breath of life into him. Right, and when you go into this word, this word breath, right, it go back to the word ne neshama, neshama, which go back to inspiration or the or 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 the breath, right, which is which the breath is which is the wisdom that you understand of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right, let me get it. Right, so we go into the blue letter and we go into the word breath. Right, and we go to the word breath, select here. Right, so we go to the word breath. Strong's H, 5397, Neshama, Neshama. Right, so the word breath in the Hebrew is ye ye Yeshama. It means breath, spirit, breath of God. This wisdom of the Heavenly Father, right? The spirit, this word, spirit of wisdom. So let me get a quick precept, right? Ye Yeshama, Strong's 5397, right? Let me get, let me come out and get a precept in uh, Job, right? And get to Job. Right, Job 32. Right, Job 32 and 8. Right, this is Job chapter 32, verse 8. He said, But there, but there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. And this will the most high blow the breath into Adam, Adam give you the wisdom that you understand of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh because Adam was Lord in the Garden of Eden, he was Lord over all the creatures. Right? Because all nation came out of Adam. Alright, let me go into this word inspiration. And I can tell you the same thing as in Genesis 2 and 7. Alright, we go to the word inspiration. Alright, you see Strong's Strong G53 96 and they say Salakia. Strong G57 Neshama. Yashama. Neshama. See the same thing. It's a breath spirit, breath of the Mosai. Right, so that's where the most I give Adam the wisdom, knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, understanding how to how to govern how to govern the earth. 
right? This is where Yahweh Bashem Yahshua gave to Adam how to govern the earth, right? Let me just go to, um, let me just get this in, um, this is second edition, chapter 64, 61, right? Yeah, second edition, chapter 64, 61. He said he made man and put and put his heart in the midst of, 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 of the body and gave him breath, life, and understanding. You understand? Breath, life, and understanding. And this we give unto Adam. Right? Breath, life, and understanding. And we, um, we go to wisdom. Wisdom of Solomon 7. And we can start from verse 24. Right? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 verse 24. He said, For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes it and go through all things by the reason of her pureness. Right? Right? Verse 25. He said, For she is the breath of the power of Yahweh. So she is the breath. So who is she? Right? And a pure influence flowing from the glory of of the Almighty, therefore can no defiled thing fall in into her, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of Yahweh, and the image of his goodness. And being but one, she can do all things and remain in herself. She make it them new, she make it all things new, and in all ages entering into holy soul. She make it them friends of Yahweh and prophet. Right? He said, it's a lack, you know? He said, For Yahweh loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. So there's the wisdom. The breath of the heavenly father is the wisdom, the inspiration, right? The the the, the, the spirit, right? The spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right? He said, For Yahweh loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. For she is more beautiful than the sun, and above all order. Of the star he said being compared with the light she is she is she is from before it for after his coming for after for after this coming night but the voice shall not prevail against wisdom so the breath that the most I blow into Adam was the wisdom knowledge and understanding right that was the wisdom knowledge and understanding let me get let me get another precept right you see, this why people out here, you got to be taught, right? You got to be taught to the man the Lord, right? To get this understanding, right? This is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. He said, And the Spirit of the Lord shall, shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and, the, and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, right? And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And he shall not judge after his sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. So the breath of the heavenly fire is a wisdom that you understand. In, right? That's the wisdom that you understand. And that's what the most I blow into Adam. The wisdom that you understand. In. So Adam could have governed the world. Right? This is Daniel chapter 5, verse. Um, Daniel chapter 5 verse 11 he said there is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods and in the day of thy father light the understanding and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods was found in him who he said who is the king Nebuchadnezzar thy father the king I see the, thy father made made master of the, the magician astrologer Chaldeans and smooth seer. He said, for as he said, for as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding, he said, interpreting of dreams and showing of of hard sentence and this and dissolving of doubt were formed in the same Daniel, who the king named Belshazzar, he said, Now let Daniel be called, and he will show the interpretation. We jump to verse 14. Right, he said, "I have, I have even heard of thee, that the spirit of the gods is in thee, and that, the, and that, and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in thee." So there's the bread that the Most High blow into Adam. Adam had the wisdom, knowledge, understand how to govern the earth. Right, 
You understand? So this is what they're talking about in, in Genesis 2 7. The breath is the, is the inspiration of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that give man the wisdom and understanding. Alright? So this is what it's talking about. This is a quick lesson to edify the church of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. With that, Obus Hashem is edifying. I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four kind of the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.